Welcome to another episode of the Subnautica Below Zero series, and apparently I've already done <laughs> my uh, inventory and organization. I don't remember doing it, but I've done it. So that's good. Uh, if it sounds, uh, if you hear outside sounds, it's because we've been painting in this room, and I don't want to get high off paint fumes so the window's open. <laughs> so we've got this. I also haven't edited the, the previous episode yet. I will be doing that after this. Uh, so I'm not a hundred percent sure on what I've said in that previous one, but I, I clicked on the end. I think we mentioned going to that one and that and doing some of the stuff here on the side. So plasteel ingots shouldn't, ugh, I, I need, I need, uh, titanium. So we've organized it as copper. Uh, I think I'm going to put titanium in there, gold and silver without an E, because I ran out of space. Uh, other rock-like stuff. Uh, no. This. This is the other rock-like stuff. I'll probably end up moving salt. I usually do. Craft this stuff. Plants. Eggs. Yep. And then our any fish that I've picked up. So we got that done. So I need to go out and find titanium. How do we make... Oh, that's aerogel, isn't it? I looked at it after I finished recording. It looks like a type of glass, but it's actually aerogel. Oh, wait. No, don't do it. Okay, uh, I would take the gel sack, but I only have one, so I actually should plant it to get more. So I'll probably... That would be up here, out here somewhere. Ooh, I forgot we changed the ship, uh, the color. You stay over... You stay over there. This is unusually bright though. <laughs> uh, can I stick this guy in here? Problem is it's not gonna grow more, so I think I need to turn it into seeds. Seed fluid intake. There we go. Three seeds. Interesting. Dang it. Stop. Go somewhere else. Do something else with your life. So once we get those grown, I will get some water. That will take a bit, so I'm going to... I think I had some... Uh, oh. I think I had some bladder fish in my inventory, so I'm going to go convert those guys into water for now. But I do hope to have that automated soon. I don't know that I have any more lithium. Because um, we need that for the uh, power cells. Mm. Ah, yes. I found a very cool looking cave. I don't know if it's important in any capacity, but it does look cool. Hello, Cyriel. I am doing stuff. Uh, there are a lot of crash fish. So far none have hit me, but they've certainly died trying. Oh, my inventory is full. Can't grab another one of those eggs. Yeah, it's fine. Now the question is, is I'm not going to be able to get out again? Surface? <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> is that where I need to go? Let's head down here as much as I don't want to um, and see if we can find some more diamond. Is this the same place? I think so. Ooh, just heck. Are you after me? Yes, yes it is. I need to scan whatever you're on, sir. So if you could not, that would be ideal. Go elsewhere. Okay, quick. Fabricator module. That sounds good. I still haven't found a diamond. There's another thing. Ooh, I feel like I'm pushing it with the oxygen. Fabricator module. I'm gonna I'm gonna need oxygen soon here, guys. Oh, here's one. All right, I gotta go to the surface from, with this. All right. Oh my God, a diamond. Yes. I think I need more diamonds. Oh no, I need that. Okay. Don't be a curse. All right, go 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 go. 
I think that's the way out right there. Oh, and it has oxygen. Perfect. These little air bubbles are godsend. <laughs> it means you can spend quite a bit of time. Like, I haven't surfaced since I've left the base, which has been a decent amount of time at this point. First thing I'm going to... Oh man, that's amazing. First thing I'm going to try to make is the... this first. Two freaking... Okay, and then... Uh, is that titanium ingot and lithium? Ooh. Do we have any more lithium? We do. Okay. Oh boy, those go grow fast. All right, let's put in another gel sack and then four of those. All right, garden has been properly started. <laughs> hey, buddy. Don't, didn't appreciate that greeting. Did I not pick up the lithium? I think I went to clear out my inventory and then completely forgot what I was doing. As I tend to do. So we've got the... Um, this guy now. Plasteel. Glass and lead. Okay. Ooh, we can get this going. I only have one ruby, but maybe that's the good thing to use it for. But then the question does it becomes... Oh, I still need another diamond. I don't want it. But I might be able to get more if I do this, but I still have to go anyway. <sighs> oh, I have another diamond. Oh, I can do the module then. Okay. I can, I can do that. Okay. Am I out of quartz? Surely not. Me, compulsive quartz picker-upper? It's on my frickin' windows. Is there any way I can lead you away from my base and then you would stay away from my base? Is that a potential? Because I'd like that. I suppose collector would have been better than quartz picker-upper. <laughs> ah, I'm so good at this English thing. Welcome to your new biome. Stay here. I guess the explore too deep isn't all that close to that guy. Hm. Oh no, where does he make this? Uh, here? Oh thank god. I was quite concerned that- oh man, I don't know any of those ingredients. I was quite concerned that I would need the modification station. It's like, I just used my diamonds. It was the wrong choice. No, we're gonna go with this. And unpin. Yes! Alright. So now we can go get more diamond and be a little safer, safer about it. Let us switch this guy's battery out. I burned through the batteries on that guy fast. Hello, sea truck. I have a gift for you. Apologies for the crackly bag sounds. It is the plastic on the floor from the paint and the wind is blowing on it. Crush depth is now 300. That is way further than that guy. And then this guy is how far? Let's go get this one first. We have half of our uh, battery left. So... Oh god, that just does not help. Um, I have to keep that in mind. Oh no, are we going into a new area? I hate that. <laughs> I'm very bad at going into new areas. Okay, this is kelp. I, I, I'm comfortable with kelp. Kelp ended. Oh, but we have- I've had these plants, I've seen them before. Sad. I think that's an egg. Should I have emptied out my inventory? We're halfway there. Well, I guess we'll grab this. You can always drop them if I end up needing the space. Oh no. Oh no, I do not like this. How do I get down to that? Surely he doesn't want me to pick up all of these. <laughs> ah! No! 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 Stop it! I guess it's me and the p paint fumes now because uh... It just got horrifyingly windy out there, so 
I might just have to close it so that it's not just bag rustling the whole time. Uh, okay, so... Below us is where we need to be. But how do we get below us? Oh, here? This looks promising. I feel like maybe I'm supposed to not bring this in here, but... I'm gonna bring it as far as I can. Hitting this a whole lot. How are we at? 80? Alright, that's fine. I feel like we're getting uh, close to um, too small here. I did it. It doesn't seem like it was necessary, but it was done. Oh, yeah, but we're getting somewhere. I may grab some of this blood oil. Does it need scanned? Uh, root pustule. This will grab some of those. Oh no, it's disgusting. There's like stuff in it. I hate it. I heard a big sound out there. But luckily it's quite small in here. Oh man. Okay. Is there anything in here we can scan? Laser coin cutter? Huh, I guess I hadn't even thought about the fact that we don't have that yet. It's quiet down here. I'm so used to all the sounds that the game makes. Hello? It really doesn't want you to bring down the... What you found is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. Alright, let's give it a scan. Water analysis station. Oh, nice. Air. Alright, bring this guy. Let's get in. And then we can look. Uh, answer. How do your people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What, what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. God, that would suck. All right, so that's not, I feel like this one's pretty straightforward. Includes a fabricator. Alien water analysis. This apparent research device seems built to determine the chemical comp components and properties of water samples. Possible applications. Testing for levels of Kara bacterium in the water. Spectros spectroscopic analysis. Experimental application of light, heat, or chemical compounds via the cylindrical cone at the center of the storage chamber. Hmm. I don't even think to look up the spinefish. It's edible. Low calorie count. Uh, and then what did we find here? Broken mandrake. The broken mandrake is a bioluminescent plant that roots itself to surfaces in deep coral zones. Analysis indicates it has accumulated many genetic adaptations for the permanent dark conditions. All right, now to navigate my big boat out of these tiny spaces. How did I do that the first time? Get out of the way, little buddy. All right. Freda! I did it. I don't know if I was supposed to have been able to do it, but I did it. Uh, too deep to explore. 
Have one of those hoop fish. We're under the eyes. How's our inventory? All right, so I guess I'll go look at this other one. That's a lot of little hoop fish. Big hoop fish? Oh my god, why does it just drop there? I hate that. I should probably heal the truck. I apologize for taking you through the roots of a very closed cave. Thank you for your continued work. Alright, I need more lithium. And I believe I found them here. Just like laying on the ground for some reason. Uh. I'm also going to check these. I think it's probably a chance of silver, if I had to guess. Yeah. And this guy... Chance of copper. So that's not what I need. It's so quiet when you're outside of the ship. Oh no. It's right there. I really should get that scanned. But I don't wanna. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm sure it'll be fine. I've already been eaten once. I don't know how to say your name. Could you hold still for a second and stop crashing your mouth so much? It doesn't help you accomplish much. Oh, where's the truck? Run! <laughs> don't think it's after me because I don't hear it uh, chomping. Where you go. Okay. Well, that was my adventurous thing of the day. Warning. 30 All seconds right. of oxygen remaining. <laughs> you don't gotta tell me twice. Oh, they're so loud. Alright. So let's see how dangerous this thing is. So that guy, I'll just call a crypto, I guess. It is a large shark-like beast easily identified by its carapace of thin bony plates structure. These plates are defensive bony structures that aid in heat absorption among thermal vents. It propels itself with wide webbed flippers that displace massive amounts of water. The crypto is a bit of a contradictory creature. Despite its fearsome appearance, it's more roar than bite. While territorial, the crypto tends to retreat from confrontation after being attacked once. This is likely a form of agnostic posturing. Aggressive fauna tend to avoid fights if the proper probability of injury is too high. Avoid, but can be handled in a pinch. Hmm. Well, that's good to know. I do need more lithium, though. But now we know, just poke it with a kniffy and we may be alright. God, it doesn't sound like a poke would deal with it. Bring it. Except I do need to know where it's coming from. Because I can... That roar did not sound like that guy. I can see its freaking shadow above me. Oh my god, I see you, buddy. Okay, he's way up there. I don't know if I'd rather not know, <laughs> or if I'd rather see his shadow above me. He seems to be chilling up there, but he kind of looks like a, a croc, almost. Is this where I need to go? 300, that seems like maybe I should go a bit further first. One thing that seems to be quite nice is oftentimes when you need to go somewhere, you have multiple options on how to get to it. It's not like you must use this one cave. Or you'll never get there. Granted, I think I would not be able to get my ship into that particular entrance. I have passed it. I'm gonna peek. Ooh, there's a bit. What is this? Just a sea drag. I. I could take the titanium. Oh no, all right. Uh, oh, that's just, uh, that's twisty bridges. Okay, I trust that. Let's see if we can get to it from here. Otherwise I'll backtrack. All right, this isn't looking like the way to go, so I'm gonna backtrack. 
into something. Oh, let's see. Oh, here. For some reason, lithium's almost hard to see. And I'm not entirely sure why. Let's see, can we get in here? Oh, we can. There's a lot of gold? I don't really need a lot of gold. That seems hot. Uh, wait. Are those all diamonds? Oh my god. Seek fluid and okay. Dropping all the eggs. Alright, I'm prepared to burn myself for this. Am I? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna let it do its thing one more time. I think those are bits of lava. We'll pretend that's not. <laughs> Ooh! This is definitely a place a, a human being should be. Okay. Oof. She has herself right. I don't really need that. It's more gold. Holy cow. Uh, how do I get out? Now the question is, where's my... There you are. Now do I have a beacon? Oh, I do have one. I do have one. Okay. So I'm gonna say this is... Uh, gold... Dime... Or vein. All right. I'll turn that off. But if we need to come back, if they respawn, we'll know where this is. I'm trying, artifact. I'm trying. I'm just being dumb and I can't find how to get to you. Ooh, I need you back, please. Uh, the big one. It's so big and it's always at the front that I kind of have a tendency Calorie to ignore it. Alright, fine. There. Stop complaining to me. Oh my god, it's not more diamonds. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh. Eee, hot. Oh my god, more diamonds! This is the best discovery ever. Who needs gold? Hang on. I think I have a buttload at, at home. Hopefully. Someday I'm gonna watch this back and cry. They dumped all this precious metal off the side. Oh my god, my health! Let's use that. I may have gotten a little close to the lava. Um, I suppose that would hurt, yes. I guess there's more gold there if I need it. <gasps> Lithium. This does not seem to be the thing. Is this the way? Can you give me water or air if it is? Oh, that's a new egg. Okay. Dump everything. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough um, diamond. Are you a four? Okay. okay. Let's go up here and get some air. Ah, the good old island. It's not something we reach from the island, right? Hmm. I know not. Let's hope I don't get lost and die. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. It's hot. I'm afraid to die. I'm backtracking. I'm going back to the surface. It just feels like the right place to be, but uh, it's not working out for me. So I'm gonna head home because our inventory is quite full and I may die of thirst soon. Let's head off. He came back. He didn't like his new biome, apparently. Welcome aboard, Captain. A bit unfortunate, that. I may need a new storage for pointy things. As I have managed to find myself a lot of diamond on accident. There we go. Got some food in us. Vital signs stabilizing. So now I should be able to make the water filtration system. 
Apologies if I was ever very close to the entrance and then drove my funky butt away. <laughs> I have that tendency. Uh, so arrow gel. Oh, I need to go get a gel sack. Do I want a bioreactor? I don't think I need a nuclear reactor. Honestly, I haven't really needed any other power. Oh, but this will definitely make me need it. Okay. Uh, probably can't have both of those in here. Oh, how nice. Oh, didn't think about that taking down our thing. Lubricant wiring and titanium. Ooh, young cotton and then anemone. <laughs> Ugh, I, I used to be able to say that with zero problems, but that is no longer the case. I need to go get stuff for lubricant. So can we put this here and that? Really? Can I turn you? That would be preferred. Wow. This is a bit cramped. Not ideal, but we'll deal with it for now. Inactive. So we have some spare eggs. Uh, here. Let's take this big in. And we can also put some of our shrub nuts in it. So that's active, so that should help. Oh yeah, that's helping quite a bit. And we'll put that in here as well. Perfect. So yeah, I'll need a different spot for that, but for now it works. Computer chip and advanced and now we can charge our uh, big batteries. Let's go ahead and stick that right there. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go get our batteries now, Mr. Power. Can you handle that as well? <laughs> oh, we're plateaued. Oh, we're actually increasing very slowly, but we're getting there. They made water yet? Probably not. These are very slow. Yeah. Seek fluid intake immediately. I probably should get some water in some capacity. Let's hope we find a letterfish on the way home. Oh, we're gonna take damage soon. <laughs> working on it. See? Actively working on it. Don't yell at me. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, we have gotten all of this stuff for a modification station. So I'm just right there-ish. Get rid of that. Okay. We've got the thermal blade. We don't know that. The swim charge wirelessly charges your held tool while you swim. Might not be a terrible idea. I don't know how to make one of those ingredients. <laughs> Hydrochloric acid. We need to find young cotton. Anemone. Anemone. <laughs> uh. But yes, so that, this room's getting to look sweet. We've got all our storage, we've got all this view. I'll put two more windows here. I'll probably strengthen some more hallways for base integrity. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. I could not find where we needed to go for the next step, so... <laughs> Whoops. Oh, look at that little window. Yes, you. How? How do I get to you? Hmm? So that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.